on to Andy Slavitt, who of course was a COVID advisor here in the White House just a few months ago, saying that it would be better to, to provide mass um, shipments of the vaccine, hundreds of millions of vaccines to Southern Africa, rather than having travel bans. Well, I would say, one, we are providing, we are far and away the world's largest provider of uh, vaccine doses, vaccine know-how, uh, vaccine support, as I noted, including to Southern Africa of any country in the world. Uh, and the president, uh, on the advice of his health and medical team, put in place these restrictions because he's going to err on the side of protecting the American people. And, and even though uh, our expectation is it will slow, not prevent, uh, the, the movement of this new variant, that will give us time to get more people vaccinated, more people boosted in the United States, uh, and ensure we learn more about this variant. So uh, we're going to uh, do both. You, you said just a few moments ago there are hundreds of cases in Africa and, and, and only a few or as many, not as many in Europe. Could you talk about the science behind that? Is that what the president's scientists are telling him that because there are hundreds of thousands. cases, thousands of cases in South I was just reading what you said, but yeah, thousands of cases in Africa and not as many in, in Europe. That's the science behind why a travel ban needs to be in place because I guess I'm just trying to understand why if one person, let's say in Germany or somewhere else, gets on a plane and comes to the United States, isn't that person just as likely to, to, to have the, the variant end up in the United States? Can you just talk a little bit more about the science behind the reasoning there? Sure. Well, I think the larger point, Amish, is that it is a much larger spread in South Africa uh, than it is at this point in Europe and other countries. We will continue to assess if there are additional restrictions that need to be put in place. But again, this is not about um, punishing anyone. This is about uh, protecting the American people. So when there are thousands of people uh, or hundreds or, or thousands of people who are uh, who have uh, of, who have been tracked for a variant in a particular country, uh, and a much larger number than another country, uh, you know, obviously the health and medical advisors assess that it would be helpful uh, in protecting the American people to restrict travel from those countries where there is wider spread. It's the scientists that are saying that. It's, it's fair to say. The, the president made the travel guidance restrictions in place on the pure basis of, uh, of, of recommendation of his health and medical advisors. Question. Could you talk a bit about the nuclear talks that, it, that reportedly President Biden wants to have with China? There are some reports that he, he wants to sit down and talk about that. Is there any sort of goal there, an arms deal or anything like that on the president's mind? Nuclear talks with China? I'm not sure. With the president? I'm not, I'm not sure what you're referencing. Obviously, he just spoke with um, President Xi uh, recently and had a summit with him. There's follow-up, of course, to that uh, at a high level of our national security team, I can see if there's anything more uh, that would be at his level, but not that I'm aware of. Thanks, everyone. Okay.